Hello, welcome back. It's the Clay Golem here. We're back in Foundry VTT and we're looking at an add-on today. So first of all, I can't pronounce your username, buddy. <laughs> but uh, thanks to Kev Hickman, who has made a suggestion for a module to look at, which is called Ownership Viewer Module, um, which is not one I've heard of before. And I had to look it up uh, and it's like, oh, hang on a minute. That's a bit handy, isn't it? Um, am I going to use it myself long term? Don't know. Don't know, but it's certainly really useful to know about and it will be useful for some people. And I can imagine it's really useful for setup to make sure you've got everything working. What the hell am I on about? I'll get on and show you. Right, I'm going to go to my managed modules. Now we are back in my Stormwreck IL1 um, because I needed an example to kind of show you. And this one's all set up for us. Just scroll down. So I've got loads of things on here, of course. But what we're looking at here, ownership viewer. OK, so this is the one we're looking at. And essentially, it adds some little icons to show us who can do what with what. Let me show you what I mean. All right, so if I go to my Actoras, uh, and if I open my Players tab, so over on the right-hand side, I'll try and zoom this video over in the edit, you can see down the right-hand side, there's a whole bunch of icons here. What the heck do they mean? This is what the mod does. So this top one here next to Bordrick, um, Bordrick Hillmite has got three little dots here. What this means is that um, that nobody's got any viewer ownership, etc., over it. Uh, if we look at uh, Boudica here, uh, we've got a blue dot. We look at Boudica's bandits, we've got a square with lots of colours on. So there's a key here that tells us what these things do. Now, if I go to the bottom left-hand corner, just to draw your eye completely the other other direction. You can see that all of my players I've got registered here have a certain color next to them. So that color correlates over here on the other side of the screen to the color of these dots and things. And basically it's telling us who has ownership or um, ob observer rights to these various things. So on the left down there, uh, Clay, uh, sorry, Golem Plays is the player name for the character who owns Haley and has got a yellow dot bottom left hand corner. Over here when we look at Haley Longbreeze, oddly enough there's a yellow dot that says that player owns Haley. But no other players have ownership over Haley, which is why we've only got the one dot. Now if we look at Boudicca's Bandits, it, we've got different people who've got observation over Boudicca's Bandits. If we open it up of course we've got four characters and oddly enough Sorryman's in there who is red and that shows red there uh, we've got Haley in there which shows is yellow uh, we've got uh, Boudicca in there which is I'm not sure which one Boudicca is um, but we've also got Sh uh, Shepherd Felix which is in there as well uh, under Dixon so it's showing up those different colors um, and whether it is if we hover over it it says we've got an owner um, this one is observer owner 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 so that all that's all it does but it's a really nice little indicator what is nicer and works nicer um, is if we look at things like items no observability but when we go to journals let's open Stormwreck Isle um, we can look at Rival Beach uh, look we can see up here uh, it's showing us that this is just inheriting the standard stuff which is in my case they can't see that captain's journal again it's inheriting it but we can look at the different um, the different areas the different areas of the journal whatever it might be and it just tells us who can do what with it so this is just telling us that all the players have got default access to this and for me that default inherited is they can't see journal stuff uh, have I got an example where they can see stuff uh, yes yes we have trouble in Fandolin um, let's look at the Stonehill Inn Stonehill Inn, they all have Observer. So when I set this journal up, uh, and this is a legacy journal because we kind of did away with this and replaced it with a proper shop. But when I created this journal item, they were set to observe. So they could look at this journal, but they couldn't alter it at all. So yeah, really, really nice. Now let's flip over um, and have a look at how that might work for us in our new Strad one. So this is why the suggestion came up. Um, need to log in, of course, uh, because we were looking at these. Now, I've since the last Strad, um, Cursor Strad video, I have gone through and updated my icons over here 
uh, I need to resize them um, to activate these various things. But if we go and look at, hang on a minute. I need, whoops, not that one, manage modules. I need to actually add this on as a module in here before I make an absolute banana of myself. Um, there it is, can't do alphabet. I don't know why sometimes I can't do alphabet. Okay, so we've got that mod added on now. Now when we open our, uh, our journal and we look at our party journal, how useful is this to be able to say what our players can do. So looking at this, I know this notes, and I can hover over it if I'm not sure, the players own the notes section. Uh, Coylan's letter, no. I've got observer on the letter still. I didn't want that. So very easily, yeah, I've still got it set to observer. I need to turn that off. There we go. Very, very easily I can come in and see, oh blimey, that's not set up right. Um, what's that one? Uh, oh, Haley's got Observer on that. Why has Haley got Observer on that only? Uh, oh, okay, that's why. Default. Thank you very much. So, all players have got none with Haley following that default. I'd obviously updated her specifically at some point. Uh, probably a misclick. But would I have spotted that? Would I have spotted that misclick without this? Um, I didn't set that up on purpose, I promise you. <laughs> It's just really convenient. I had made a mistake and it just helped me highlight it. So from that point of view, especially when I'm playing around with visibility of journals through clicks and stuff, um, really, really useful. So again, big thanks to Ken for pointing us in the direction of that one. I think that will be really, really helpful, especially with some of the complexity uh, and juggling around that I'm doing with the journal in this instance. Really, really good. Um, but it's going to work for all sorts of other things as well, um, for scenes, um, for characters and monsters, NPCs, it's going to work for journal, it's going to work for items when we start putting them in. It's just going to very easily um, you know, enable us to see what's going on and, as we saw, flag where there might be a problem so we can fix it. The last thing you want to do is you start an adventure and you've given away, I don't know, they can straight away, oh, what's this here? Oh, no, the invitation from Strahd. They're reading that already. He's giving away the plot. We don't want to do that. So big thanks to Kem. Really appreciate that. That's a nice little one. And this is a nice little short video for you uh, just to keep you on your toes. You take care. See you in the next one.